welcome. This is a daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Lady Sindi. As we have already reported, on October 20th, President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mirban Aliyeva visited Zengilan region. The head of state and the First Lady got acquainted with the work carried out within the framework of the Smart Village project, which has been implemented in the village of Aralit. Construction using innovative building materials of 200 fully isolated individual eco-friendly houses, four two-story non-residential buildings, a school for 360 pupils and a kindergarten for 60 children continues at a high pace. Modern urban planning standards will be applied here. It is planned to build pedestrian and bicycle lanes. In a word, the village will have all the conditions for residents who will return to their native lands. It should also be noted that work will be done here to organize and develop agriculture. President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyev got acquainted with the construction of the Zengilan International Airport. Construction of the airport with a 3,000-meter runway began in May of this year. Zengilan Airport will be able to receive all types of aircrafts, including heavy cargo aircrafts. President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyev got acquainted with the conditions created in the complex of the military unit of the State Border Service in Zengilan region. President, the new military unit of the State Border Service, which protects the sections of the state border of the Republic of Azerbaijan with Iran and Armenia, passing through Zangilan region, occupies an area of 15 hectares. This includes the command post building and the soldiers' barracks, working premises with the necessary conditions for the personnel to complete their service, a canteen and other buildings. Armored combat vehicles, small arms, grenade launchers, large caliber machine guns, anti-aircraft guns and other equipment that are in the official use of the military unit were presented to the head of state. The head of state and the first lady also took part in the groundbreaking ceremony of the digital substation of Azarishik Open Joint Stock Company in Zangilan region. Such substations collect, process all information about the state of the power grid, organized management of equipment in a digital format. Automation allows to reduce the influence of the human factor on the operation of the network to improve reliability and minimize losses in the transmission of electricity. President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyev attended the opening of Zengilan 110 35 10 kW substation of Azar Energy Open Joint Stock Company. Zengilan substation will supply electricity primarily to military units located in Zengilan region, border service facilities, various government agencies, road construction companies that are implementing a number of infrastructure projects. Then, President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyev met with representatives of the public of Zengilan region. <laughs> Stressing that the victorious Azerbaijani army liberated Zengilan from the occupation a year ago, the head of state said that the heinous enemy destroyed all buildings here. Their goal was to make sure that we do not return here, but we did return. Noting that a new era of Zengilan has begun and the master plan of the city is ready, President Ilham Aliyev said that the master plan will be presented in the coming months. The residents of the region expressed their gratitude to the head of state for the liberation from the occupation of our lands, including Zengilan. First Vice President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Mirban Aliyeva, has posted a footage from the visit to Zengilan on her official Instagram page. The post says, Homeland.
is in the framework of the Our Yard project carried out on the initiative of the founder and head of the IDEA Public Union, Leila Aliva, yet another renovated yard was commissioned to the use of residents. The main objective of the public union's Our Yard project is cleaning and renovation of Baku yards from the ecological standpoint, restoration of greenery, which is a pillar of urban ecology, creation of a healthy lifestyle, and establishment of secure and comfortable living conditions for the residents. All age groups were taken into account during the renovation of the next yard. Sports facilities, football, basketball and children's playgrounds have been built in the yard for youngsters to spend their leisure time efficiently. Five harbors were constructed, numerous benches, waste bins were installed. In accordance with wishes and interests of the residents, new elevators, lighting poles, fire hydrants were revamped, facades, roofs and entrances of buildings were repaired. The existing greenery in the yard has been maintained, 80 trees and shrubs have been planted and a stripe of greenery has been laid out in an area of 1,000 square meters. The project is envisaged to be implemented in all districts of Baku. In this regard, it is suggested to provide information and recommendations to the IDEA Public Union on the yards of our capital in need of improvement. The 30th anniversary of the restoration of Azerbaijan's independence was celebrated in the capital of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan. Intellectuals, local community members, youth and media representatives participated in the event organized by our embassy in Kazakhstan. Ambassador Agalar Atamovlanov spoke on Azerbaijan's glorious path to independence, as well as the restoration of our territorial integrity as a result of the 44-day Patriotic War and the significance of this historic victory. Vice Rector of the Eurasian National University, named after Gumilov, Gunnar Mirzadinova, political scientist Arman Suleymanov, President of the Ishan Foundation, Serik Yergali, and other speakers said that cooperation between our peoples and countries based on friendship, partnership, good neighborliness and mutual respect will be ongoing and will play an important role in further strengthening of the Azerbaijan-Kazakhstan relations. Another event dedicated to the 880th anniversary of the great Azerbaijani singer Nizami Genjavi took place in St. Petersburg. An exhibition dedicated to the world-famous poet was held in the Russian National Library, where the stored works of Nizami were presented. In connection with the 30th anniversary of the restoration of state independence of Azerbaijan and the 880th anniversary of Nizami Genjavi, the delegation of our country, which is on a visit to St. Petersburg, met with Deputy Chairman of the Legislative Assembly of the city, Nikolai Bondarenko. Speaking about the development of cooperation between Azerbaijan and the government of St. Petersburg, Nikolai Bondarenko noted that bilateral ties, especially in the field of culture, were successfully developing. Deputy Minister of Culture Sevda Mamedaliva spoke about the announcement of 2021, the year of Nizami Ganjavi in Azerbaijan, according to the order of President Ilham Aliyev, as well as the celebration of the anniversary of the great Azerbaijani point in our country and abroad. Then, with the organization of the Russian National Library, the Ministry of Culture of Azerbaijan, and the Council General of our country in St. Petersburg, the exhibition filled the world of Nizami was open. Library Director Vladimir Goronsky said that pride legacy of the great Azerbaijani poet throughout the centuries has taken its rightful place among the incomparable cultural treasures of the East. Deputy Minister of Culture Sevda Mehmedaliev also said that works of Nizami Genjavi, which decorate the most famous libraries and museums, also gave impetus to the development of the art of oriental miniature. Within the framework of the event, a concept program of works by Nizami presented by Azerbaijani Mohan performers was held. Then the guests got acquainted with the exhibition. The exhibits on display reflect the illustrative tradition of Nizami Ganjavi. Such wins allow visitors to get acquainted with the work of Nizami, who brought a completely new poetic response and inspiration to world literature. 2,005 infections with the novel coronavirus were registered in Azerbaijan. 1,011 people recovered after treatment and were released home. 20 people who earlier tested positive for COVID-19 died. The overall confirmed cases in Azerbaijan have reached 509,862 with 481,696 recoveries and 6,829 deaths. 
The number of active infections is 21,337. New tech new infection cases over the past day, 12,533 tests, and overall 5,069,352 tests have been conducted in Azerbaijan, the task force under the Cabinet of Ministers reported. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us and see you next time. Thank you.